Hey everyone, Mark here from Muscle Building Shorts. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an exercise that's great for the legs and the glutes, but it's a lot more safer than your traditional back squat. If you're someone over 50 or even 60, but you want to keep going to the gym, keeping yourself healthy and strong, you might be concerned about some of the leg exercises out there. You know, what are the risk to reward factors? Now, the back squat is probably the most famous leg exercise out there. But if you're over 50 or over 60, like I said, and especially if you're working at a home gym, the back squat might not be the safest exercise for you to choose. So I'm going to show you an exercise now that you can perform. You can go light, you can go heavy, but it's very easy to perform, especially compared to the back squat. So the exercise I'm referring to is called the goblet squat. You would use a single dumbbell, pick it up with both hands, hold it with it sitting on your palms. And what you're going to do is you're going to just slowly lower yourself down until your elbows touch your knees. Slight pause and then lift up. Slowly go down, slight pause and up. I'm going to show you this now from the side. And up. Slowly work your way down and up. Now some people might find it difficult handling a single heavy dumbbell because of the way you have to switch your hand position, you know, from the palms over to underneath in order to lower it. Of course, to pick it up in the first place, you start off by grabbing this way, but then you have to get your hands underneath. If you find that this is a little bit difficult for you, I'm going to show you another method using two lighter dumbbells. So here's how to do the same exercise using a set of dumbbells. You want to just Bring them up around shoulder height, slowly lower yourself down, pause with your elbows touching your knees, up. One thing to remember when you're ever performing squats, when you drive yourself back up, you want to push through the heels, not through the balls of your feet or around the toes, but right back at your heels. like that. So over time as your legs get stronger, if you're doing this exercise using two dumbbells, you might find it a little bit tricky to progress because the dumbbells are going to get heavier and heavier. It's going to be harder for you to get it up and hold it into this position. And again, if you have a hard time holding a heavy single dumbbell, um, you know, with that hand shift, I'm going to show you a final variation that you can perform if you have a tricep bar like I have in my home gym. So this funny looking bar here is called a tricep bar. There's many tricep exercises you can do with this, but of course you can do other exercises with it as well. Now, believe it or not, there's actually 10 pounds more in this setup than there was in the original dumbbell. But it's a lot easier to get the weight up and down. You do it like as if you're doing a hammer curl. And so what you would do is you'd bring it up and you kind of just rest the weight on your shoulders. You see the plates are touching my shoulders here. You want your elbows flared out if you want to get a nice deep squat. So you would go down slowly, pause with the elbows touching the knee, push up. Down, push up. So the weight was easy to get up, but the weight's also much easier to get down safely. So I hope this video has encouraged you to keep training your legs hard. Now that you know that you have a safer alternative to the back squat, you can use any of the three variations I showed you here today, and you can do this without a spotter. Just work at your own level. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.